Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Miles Cunningham. Uh, what's up, man? What's up? Um, shout out to Lucario. Shout out to all the cats that's still on it. All the cats that's taking this opportunity to upgrade, right? Last video I talked about staying ready. Um, this video I want to talk about. I want to talk directly about the situation that we're in um it's 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 really tough out here it's really tough out here um it's it's something that's on everybody's mind um there are people whose family members are being brought into the hospital after showing symptoms and they're not seeing their family members again ever again that means no funeral no nothing like they're taking the bodies out of the hospital and cremating them immediately to, to slow the spread of the virus so i want you to understand that I understand that this is a very serious situation and these videos you know it's it's about me making these videos I'm, I'm I'm trying to I'm trying my best to hold on to things and I'm doing these videos for anybody who needs some you know who wants to listen to something to help them hold on to things you understand what I'm saying um so is there's a lot going on um and what i what there's two things that i want to tell you guys to do during this time that i think will help the first one is to not beat yourself up okay the reason why i say that is because we have to understand what we're dealing with and what we're dealing with is something that's beyond our control right a lot of a lot of the stuff that's going on right now like for example you know if you're home and maybe you know you know, can I talk about the fitness stuff that I've been doing? What if you get on the scale and you see that you gained a couple of pounds because you've been home or whatever in in this situation? Don't beat yourself up. You know, if you if you're feeling, you know, depressed or you know, your mood is not good, don't beat yourself up. You understand? It's not it's not directly your fault. Okay? Because this you have to understand that we're everybody's going through something in general that we've never gone through before. You understand this is this is literally new territory. So there's no there's no point in playing the blame game, especially when it comes to pointing the, the finger at yourself. You understand? But what I will say is don't blame yourself, but take the responsibility to use this situation to make you stronger. OK, take the responsibility to use this situation to make you stronger. In the beginning of the year, we talked about upgrading, right? Let's let's let this situation bring us to a, a, a point where we're going to we're going to use this crunch. We're going to use this stretch. We're going to use this situation, this this horrible, horrible situation. And we're going to you know what it takes to make a diamond. It takes a lot of pressure and a lot of heat. It takes a super uncomfortable situation. And at the end of that process, at the end of the, the you know, you, we have coal and carbon certain other compounds and you put them together and you put them under serious stress and serious pressure and, and heat, right? And what comes out is a diamond at the end. I, I, want, I want us to look at the situation and embrace it, embrace it and say, look, I'm not gonna let this break me. It's tough. Em, em, embrace, embrace, the, embrace the setback, embrace the, the, the feeling, right? Embrace the, 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 maybe the sad or negative emotions, but, but let that be temporary. Take a hold of it, embrace it, and then let it transform you into something else. You understand? Find, find, find yourself within, within, that, within that, that tough situation and let it take you to another level. You understand? And it's not it's not easy. It's not going to happen overnight like that. I understand. But keep that in mind. You understand? And number two. And I talk about I talked about this before, but let's let's try to be grateful. If you need to write down and count your blessings. I mean, you got a lot of time. You're in the house, right? You're in the house. Get on your phone. Get on your computer. Get on something go 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 super old school get a get a pen and paper write down your blessings take some time each day to write down your blessings let's remind ourselves that even in the midst of all of this there's still something to be thankful for okay let's like like i said this time is is gonna um and i and i i talked about this in in another video where there's limitations in life there's setbacks 
and it either makes or breaks us. Let's allow this situation to make us, to make us into something more powerful, more adaptable, more versatile than we've ever been before. You understand what I'm saying? Let's, you know, we, we, we talk about hollering at girls. Let, let Corona be the, the, the bitchiest bitch we ever fucking met. You understand? Let her be, let Corona be the, the fucking most disrespectful hoe we ever saw ever. You understand? With stink breath and stink pussy and, you know, cock blocking and, you know, lying on us, telling us the baby is ours when it's not. Let's, let, let's use this situation, man, to make us the best we've ever been. Okay? Like I said, man, um, shout out to Lucario. Shout out to everybody that's still on the Patreon. Shout out to everybody. Speaking of the Patreon, we, we're doing a, um, uh, we're doing a confidence show this weekend where, where we're going to actually, I'm talking about two things, but we're going to, we're going to have a, a whole list of things that you can do during this time to help you to, you know, stay positive, stay constructive and to see things through. Okay. So if, if you're not on the, uh, Patreon for the confidence show, get on that. That's, uh, Patreon forward slash The Confidence Show. Check that out. All right. So the truth is inside you. Peace.